What's up folks, Rose back with another follow-up video from our visit to Funko Apopalypse the other day. Uh, link's gonna be in the description for that. Uh, I know I promised that I would do um, a showing of what we came home with, so here it is. I hope you enjoy. Um, I want to say thanks to everyone who enjoyed the first video of our visit. Um, it is by far my most successful video on YouTube, so thank you so much for that. Um, I, I hope you're enjoying this content as we're going to be scheduling more visits to Funko Apopalypse to continue to grow our collection. Um, after this one, there is going to be some more content where I'm going to go over my entire current collection of what we've got, as well as kind of a, um, a video where we set up the office and, and, and put all of these out on display to be seen. So. Thank you so much again. I hope you're enjoying. If you are, please subscribe, um, hit the notification bell so you can get um, the noties when we do post our new content. I'm really aiming for a video or two a week. It's really going to depend how uh, often we can get out to these shows. But thank you so much once again and sit back, relax and enjoy the show. What's going on, gang? Rose back. Uh, we're here to review what we picked up at Funko Apopalypse yesterday. It was an amazing trip. The kids had a blast. Um, we've already planned our next visit. Uh, that's going to be a surprise, but I wanted to show y'all what we actually came home with. Um, and then we're going to be having another video uh, that's going to go over my entire collection, which is going to be in the near future. But again, big shout outs to Funko Apopalypse. The link is going to be in the description, so please make sure and check them out. Um, but yeah, let's get into it right away. We'll start with what we got for Mrs. Rose. Um, we ended up picking up the This Is Fine dog. She found this absolutely hilarious. Uh, I agree. I think everyone can relate to this poor pup. Um, but yeah, great condition. Um, just phenomenal phenomenal really 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 funny and next as we mentioned as well she's a huge buddy the elf fan so we got the buddy the elf with syrup um, some other great pops in this series uh, we're also looking for Papa elf and mr. narwhal and <clears throat> Jovi as well but again another pop amazing condition all the pops um, at, at the warehouse were just incredible, but um, fantastic, Bob. Next uh, was for Child B. Um, after much debate between some um, ad icons, we settled on the two nerds. These are super, super, super cool. Um, they're scented as well. This is the grape version of it. It's scented. Very, very cool. Um, strawberry and the grape. Very, 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 very cool. They smell fantastic. Mm -hmm. And for a pops, um, when were these done? 2022? They still smell absolutely like perfect. They still smell perfect. Really, really cool combo. She's very happy with them. And that's what matters. Now, child A, <clears throat> this this one hit home for me. It's a, she decided to go with the big bird. Amazing pop, really nostalgic. Um, such an amazing set, like just for someone who grew up with Sesame Street and like the original crew of it, like 2015 from this and it's in like incredible condition like just for something to be eight years old seven eight years old and to be in this type of condition is just incredible so that's going to be the next set that child a starts with um very 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 cool pop very cool pop so we're going to see what we come with next time um so now getting into the ones for my collection um I was missing only a few from the Pokemon set in order to complete it entirely. Um, obviously less the special edition ones, but we were able to get our last Eevee evolution, which is the Vaporeon. 
Uh, that was the only one we were missing. So absolutely fantastic. Very, very, very cool. I know that Costco sells like the full set of them, uh, but I'm all about the individual pops, I think. So yeah, there's a little bit of a spoiler. Uh, this was the last one we were missing for that. So that's cool. Also incredibly cute, Psyduck. We got us a Psyduck. He is just adorable. Um, came out at the same time as Meowth in one of the Pikachu options. Um, very, very cute, 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 cute pop. And once again, absolutely phenomenal um, condition on these things. Really, really, really impressive. And the most legendary Pokemon of them all. It's not a card, but it's a pop. It's the Charizard. Um, I don't know why I waited so long for this guy. I really love him as a character. Um, and just overall, and I guess released at the same time as the Horsey and the Sitting Pikachu. Um, but yeah, very, very, very cool. So he's now home in our collection. Another one I know I mentioned when we were there uh, was the Splinter from the Turtles art series. He was the only one we were left missing, so I had to pick him up. I'm not too sure how the lighting is on this one. There's probably a little bit of glare, but uh, this is, he's so cool. Like the artwork and the, the detail on these is just so cool. And uh, he was the only one we were missing from the entire set. So <clears throat> being able to come home with him was absolutely a fantastic feeling. So yeah, good old Master Splinter. And staying on the topic of the turtles, we the first pop I ever purchased was from this series and it was great to be able um, to come across these. We were able to get the remainder of the retro toy series. Uh, so Leonardo, Michelangelo, and of course Raphael. So now we have that complete series. We're still missing Casey Jones um, from the actual series set of it. But these are, once again, like s just great condition. Like for 2020, I know they're not that old, but really, really, really great condition. Really cool pops. Um, you know, grew up with the turtles and, and whatever. I still don't have a splint, uh, a shredder, but that could be a spoiler for the future. But yeah, super, super, super happy with these ones. Um, very, very, very happy. And last but not least, uh, I know in the video we mentioned we went with intent to grow our Simpsons collection, but we had to prioritize. Um, and one that stood out that I just had to walk away with was good old Grandpa Simpson. Uh, he's a staple in the series and just just a really really well detailed cool cool pop um, There's a little bit of damage on the bottom. I don't know if that's gonna show but you can see a little bit of the scuff marks um, Here but like once again, right like 2019 It's in great condition. The box is in phenomenal condition aside from a few scuffs and this is just my personal collection to kind of complete the whole item. We are missing some of them, but I'll save that for the full reveal. That's the, the group that was released at the same time as him. Um, but yeah, super, super, super cool. Very happy with all of these pops, to be fully honest with you. Um, I mean, just, just a, a great outing. It was an amazing time. We had so much fun. Um, you know, we will be returning soon for another visit. We're going to be um, recording that as well. And um, yeah, I think that uh, I'm excited to continue to share this with you guys. And uh, yeah, so, you know, here's the, here's the final haul from our first trip to Funko Apocalypse once again. Their link's in the description. I highly encourage you to check out the website. Um, great people to deal with an unbelievable assortment and uh yeah if there's anything else any series you think we should check out um anything you want to see throw in the comments let me know um this is going to be 
kind of our new thing now that I'm really getting into it with the kids and the wife and the family and and it's just been a great experience so far so yeah tell me what you like don't forget uh, if you want to come along with us if you like what you're seeing and uh, you know please once again get involved with the comments hit the subscribe button um, you know notifications every time we upload something new I'm gonna do my best to start dropping a couple videos a week um, but it's going to depend on how often we can get out to shows and to different locations that have uh, Funkos in our area. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. Sub, subscribe to the channel and uh, have an amazing, amazing, amazing day. And God bless.